Hi, I welcome you to yet another Q&A session from Civil Era. I'm Premjit here and as you are aware, I'm conducting a Q&A webinar session and I got this email from a student asking me about punching shares. So I thought I would share some info which would be useful for you. So in today's post, I had asked which among these is also called to a share and why? The answer is a punching share. Punching shear is also known as two-way shear. Now, I want to emphasize on why this is called two-way shear. So, I have got a lot of answer in the group and many were saying that it is two-way because if you have a footing or a slab and if you have a column and you have learned that d by 2 away from the face of the column, you have the punching and hence it's in both direction. But I would like to correct you or I would like to explain you in the right way. That's not the reason that it's called two way. That's not because it's in that two direction. So let me first explain what is punching. So now if you have a paper and then if you try using a pencil, a sharp pencil, and then if you try to punch this particular paper, this is a section. And if I draw the plan of that paper, you will get a sharp hole on this paper. So this property of passing through the paper is punching. It is punching perfect because it is very, very sharp. Now, when you have a column on a footing or a slab, it's not the case. It's not as sharp as this is. It's blunt. So there will be a slight change in the way that punching happens. It's not so sharp that you get a perfect hole on the concrete or on the footing of the slab. Now, coming back to this, if you increase this paper thickness, if you make it into a book and then use the same pencil, then it may not punch as easily as this. Same way, if you keep a paper and then if you use a more blunt pencil or a tipless pencil then the sharpness of this hole that you get is also going to change it's not going to be a perfect hole like this it will have a distortion it won't be a perfect hole that will be formed so based on the sharpness of your pencil and based on the thickness of your paper or book there are going to be change in the shape of the punched hole now if you look at these two pictures here you can see that your punching is not a perfect hole. You are having an angle here and you are having a distance from the face of the column. It is not a pure hole forming because of the behavior being slightly different there. So if you look at this side picture where there is a failure, even here you can see that it's not a perfect hole that is formed. There is a difference in the behavior. So this is the reason by seeing various failure and behavior, it is clear that what you have is not a pure hole but something like this d by 2 away so this is what you generally get you get a piece here it need not be a uniform d by 2 it could be a distorted one as well it could be as distorted as this but then if you measure this would be approximately d by 2 so this is what we have seen and that's the reason that we take d by 2 as the distance now why is it called two-way shear if you Check any of your textbook for the punching shear stress calculation. You can see that the punching force divided by area is going to be your stress. Now, what is that area? That area is nothing but the perimeter, which includes d by 2, d by 2, that perimeter multiplied by thickness. So, this is the area of punching and that's the reason it's two way it is in two direction along the perimeter and along the thickness so that's the reason it is called two way shear that's evident from your calculation of punching stress your thickness is being punched and you have a perimeter which is affected so that's the reason it is called two way shear so i hope you are clear it's not the perimeter or it is not this direction which is making it Two way but it's the thickness and the perimeter in those direction it is acting and hence it is called a uh, two way shear i hope you liked this video if you like to discuss your questions in a q and a webinar like this please send your 
questions to premjit at civilera.co. Please note that it's .co and not .com. In case if you like to get into my mentorship program, there is a link at the end of this video. Thank you so much. Have a great time ahead.